Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following. Where A and B are constant scalars. To start the proof, I will first start by rewriting the left side of the equation. Now, from the definition of curl, we can rewrite this as and in the final row, that'll contain the i, j, and k components of this vector. For the first one, it's a u x plus b v x, and so on. Just like that. And so now, we are going to compute this thing. So to compute this thing, we're computing it like we would evaluate a cross product. For the i component, it's going to be this on this minus this on this. And for the j component, it's going to be plus this on this minus this on this. And for the k component, it is going to be plus this on this minus this on this. So now we have expanded this out. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the derivative of each of these things, right? So starting with the i component, if we were to take the derivative of this thing with respect to y, what that is going to look like, you can imagine it's going to be a partial uz with respect to y, plus b, partial vz with respect to y. When we do the um, partial of this with respect to z, right, we're going to have a minus sign, a partial uy with respect to z, right, but the minus sign distributes, so we're going to get a minus b, partial vy with respect to z. And so this would be our i component. And now for our j component, it's going to work the same exact way. So I'm just going to evaluate these two derivatives. And for the k component, same exact sort of way. So now what I want you to notice is that we have these terms with a in it and the non-underlined terms with b in it. To group the terms with a and b together, I'm going to swap these two middle terms for each of them. And so now that we have that, Notice that our terms with a in it are now grouped together and our non-underlying terms, which are the ones that contain b, are also grouped together. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a from these terms and I'm going to factor out b from these terms. So now I'm going to write this vector as a sum of two vectors. The first vector will contain these components. The vector added to that one will contain these components. So that's our first vector. And our second vector will be And so this would be the two vectors that we're adding together. We can factor out a, oh, I forgot. How did I forget to put an a and a b here? We can factor out a from the first vector.
and we can factor out a b from the second vector. Just like that. And so now that we've made it this far, this is the part where you just have to recognize that this is the curl of u, and this is the curl of v. And I'm sure you guys could find a way to convince yourselves that this is the curl of u and this is the curl of v, right? In fact, if you were to evaluate the curl of u, again, you could just verify it using the way of computing the curl of a vector field. Right, I'm sure you guys could use this to convince yourselves that this thing that we have in the brackets here is in fact the curl of u. Right, and so you could use that to convince yourself. And therefore we have proven the thing that we wanted to prove. And so this is basically it for this video.